people in this room. Yes. Mm -hmm. Describe them to me. What do these people look like? Are they colours? Are they figures? Figures. They're figures. Mm -hmm. White robes. Figures in white robes. Mm -hmm. Seven. And there's seven of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And tell me, is this part of your council? Or is it just a group? It's the council. And I want you to connect with these seven figures there now in these white robes. And tell me, are they standing or are they sitting? Standing. They're standing. And how are they standing? Are they all standing in a line? Or are they standing differently? Two lines. Two lines, uh-huh. So the ones that are in the line nearest to you, why are they in that line? Does that mean something? Or does it not matter? Mm -hmm. So is there a hierarchy between these figures in these white robes? Is no. No? They're no. all the same. Mm -hmm. So as you connect with these white with these white figures, member of your council. Tell me, is this the council that you usually visit after a life? Or do you come to this council for specific reasons? After. After a life, uh huh. Mm -hmm. So let's just ask that council some questions then. I want to know about these predictions that you have. Ask them, what is this gift that you have? It's just foresight. It's foresight. Mm -hmm. She's been predicting a particular incident that is going to happen shortly. Is this going to be local or is it going to be somewhere else? Oh, in the world. It's in the world. Mm -hmm. So tell me more about this, this incident. They're all walking towards something, but they shouldn't. They shouldn't. They're walking towards something? They shouldn't, because it's danger. Lots will be killed. But it's dangerous and lots will be killed? Mm. I want you to focus on that thing that they're walking to. It's like a black hole. It's a black hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you say it's a black hole, are we going to have an energy shift or...? Um, it's like... It's like a cave. Black. They're walking to... I don't know if they can see it. Right. I don't know if they can see so it. So is it a bit like a portal then? Mm. Yes, I think so. Uh -huh. So, they don't know it's there. They don't know it's there? Mm. They're just going to walk into this cave and what's going to happen? They won't come out. They won't come out. Mm -hmm. And what part of the world is this going to happen it's then? America. It's in America. Mm -hmm. So when they go in this cave, in this portal, where does it actually take them? Where, do, where, where are they transported to? It seems on another planet. Another planet. To another planet. Mm -hmm. And is that going to be this year or next year? This year. This year. It's going to be this year. Mm -hmm. So we'll be sure to look out for that. And as we're there in front of this council now, I want you to connect mind to mind and soul to soul. And I want you to discuss with your group there, your council members, and ask them to remind you of the first time
you were created. How does it all begin? How do we begin? A thought. A thought. Uh-huh. So are we created through a spark of thought? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And tell me how many lives has she had so far to date? Six. Six lives. And how's she doing with those lives? She's still learning. Uh huh. Not finished yet. So, as she always had this gift of foresight, was she born with this gift? Was she created with this gift of foresight, or did she learn it from another group up there? No, it's always been there. It's always been there. Very good. So, I want you now to ask that council. About this feeling that you have and the emotion and the emotions that you have about being underwater and breathing underwater. So as you follow the sound of my voice now, as I say, being underwater and breathing underwater. I want you to connect with that thought and tell me what that is all about. It's normal. It's normal. Uh It's yours. It's how you were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, give me a description of yourself, how you were then. Were you able to go underwater and breathe? It's like a fish. You're like a fish. Mm -hmm. Is that how you began? No. No, something before that. You were something before that. Mm. Uh huh. So, are we all capable of breathing in the water? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very good. And I want to ask a question. What's her connection with the reptilians? Why does she have an affiliation to them? Very early on. Early on. Early on? Tell me more. When you say early on, is that before? Before. Before a human. Oh, before she was human? Mm. So describe a time with these reptilians then? Mm. Is she part of the reptilians or did she just visit them? Visit? She visited. What did she visit the reptilians for? Knowledge. Knowledge. Mm-hmm. We've been told here on Earth that sometimes the reptilians are quite destructive. Is that true? Yes. Mm-hmm. They are destructive. So what was it that you were learning? How to channel the destruction. How to channel? A destruction. A destruction. And why? Mm-hmm. Ask questions. And to ask questions. Very good. And I want to ask your counsel, where do we actually go with our lessons when we go back up to spirit after we've finished our life down here? What do we do with our our lessons? Where do we go? Information falls into the library. You go to where? The library. 
the library. Mm-hmm. Is that the place that we often call the Akashic Records? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And what do we do when we go there? The learning is written. And do we act out in different roles? Or do we just learn from the books? Learn from the books and from the others there. And the others. Uh How long has my client been with this particular council? Forever. Are they part of our group? Yes. I want to ask about a life in Bulgaria. She saw a little glimpse of a life in Bulgaria. Describe that life to me. What did she learn? So that was a hard life Mm -hmm. and part of her lessons. Mm -hmm. She also talks of a 10 year war in France. Yes. Did she have a life in that 10 year war? Was she male or female? Female. She was female, describe to me. 16. She was only 16 years old. Hat. Hat, white. Cotton hat. White cotton grey, hat. Grey, grey dress, poverty dress. The fire, there's a big fire. There was a big fire. 1256, the soldiers. 1256. The soldiers on the other side. And then the people on this side. Soldiers on the other side and people on this side? Yeah. Were they the opposition? Yes, on the fire. Massive fire. Who started that fire? The people. Your people started mm-hmm. the fire? Mm-hmm. Or mm-hmm. What did they start the fire for? They wanted protection. Oh, I see. So it was a barrier to prevent mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. Yes. So how, how did you end that life? You were stabbed in the eye. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Does that mm. does that relate to my client today, where she had a feeling in her eye? Yes. Uh huh. I want you to go into that eye now. Go into every cell, every vein, every muscle at the back of that eye. Because we did some clearing there a few days ago. Tell me, how's that eye looking now? It's better now. It's better. Very good. I want to ask you about these aliens. You spoke about the reptilians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we able to connect with extraterrestrial? Yes. Uh How do we do that? With the mind. with the mind. Uh And do we actually work with different forms Mm -hmm. of aliens? Mm -hmm. So what's their purpose and why do we work with them? They oversee, but also give us some knowledge. They oversee and give us knowledge. Mm-hmm. And they teach. And they teach us, so we're not to be afraid of them? No. So when is the best time for us to connect with them? Is there any particular time or place? Twilight. 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 Oh, just as you're going to sleep? 
Mm -hmm. Just before sleep. Mm -hmm. I want you to ask the council now about your progress and your hypnotherapy and ask them, is this a path that is good for you? Yes, because it develops. It will open other things up for you. Right, thank you very much. Can I ask the council, when you communicate with these extraterrestrials, do you do it with your voice? Do you have a different language? Or do you do it in another way? Mind. It's just the mind. I just wanted to double check that mm. question. See if you gave me the same one. Mm -hmm. And out of the many lives that she's already had, is she more in a male body or a female body? Or is it even? Mm. Even, I think. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if my clients had a life as something else, as an animal, or the river, or a stone? Has she had other lives besides human lives? Mm. Yes, before human, yes. Before human? Mm. Describe one of those to me. Washing. See that image come now. So do you want a plant? Uh -huh. Was she a tall plant or a small plant? A small plant. And what was the purpose of her coming to experience the life of a plant? There's lots you can experience. Lots. Mm -hmm. Some heat. Some cold heat. Life. Cold life. Very good. Mm -hmm. And each time we come back to Earth, do we learn different lessons? Mm -hmm. All the time. All the time. Uh -huh. I know my client is inter interested in healing and teaching. Is this a way forward for mm -hmm. her? Yes, definitely. Healing and teaching. Mm -hmm. well, where is she going to be able to do this healing and teaching? Is, is it going to be around here? Is it going to be at a home? Or is it going to be at a centre? I don't know. I don't know yet. It's, it's not planned yet. It's not planned yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before we leave the council, I want you to connect with them and ask them, before we leave, do they have a message for us on Earth? Be nice. No aggression. Remove aggression. Remove a regression. Aggression. Remove aggression. Mm -hmm. I'll be sure to tell everyone. But just before we leave, we've got a question about the weight. Mm -hmm. And as I say that word weight, I want you to go deep into the memories and the corners of her mind now. And tell me, what is the root cause of this issue with weight? As you keep following down now, going down. Laziness. Laziness. So when she gets lazy, mm -hmm. she eats. So what is she supposed to do then? Do other things. To, to, to be more active. Get occupied. To be occupied. Uh -huh. I'll be sure to tell her. Thank you very much. Well, now we've come to the end of that session. I want to thank everybody for working with us as we close this session now.